Hello everyone, my name is Gecko, and today we are playing some more Territorial.io. Before we get into it, just the normal little announcement. We have a Discord channel which is growing very quickly and already has a lot of amazing members in it. If you would like to be a part of this community, there is a link in the description below. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the near daily content that I have coming out. I try my best to have 5-7 to seven videos a week. And of course, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. The more likes I see on a video, the more I know that's the kind of content I should be creating. But enough of that jib jab jabble, let's get on with it. Let's go ahead and just jump right on into it and play some more 1v1 games and see if we can move our way up the leaderboards. All right, and we're into our first game here. Going up against somebody with uh, 126.9 points. Now our key area to go is gonna be in this area here. And this area looks to have the most open space. So I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit outside of the bubble and check out this area right here. Go down to about 45% and we're watching our tick bar. We want to expand about the halfway point so that when we hit our 10th tick, we have fully expanded them as much as we can and we get the maximum amount of income towards our points. Uh, that last one was just a little bit late there, unfortunately. But luckily with all this open space we have, I think that we will recover from that just fine. And our opponent is growing quite quickly which is never a bad thing in my opinion. I'm gonna reinforce my last attack if I have to, which I didn't. I was watching the above bar there to make sure that my uh, attack would continue on. Now, I wanna use around two to 4,000 points on bots, but wait as long as I can to do so. We do wanna attack larger bots uh, to get more land, but we wanna watch their points too. We don't, we don't wanna be attacking bots that have a large amount of points on them like I just kind of did there. We're also trying to make sure that we're not using too many attacks at once. We do not want to spread ourselves too thin and I am using way too much of attack right now. I should be saving my points. And I would say that we don't have the best of starts here. Hopefully we can get a good chunk out of four, four, three. We were able to get quite a lot out of them. I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce that attack with all that land it's got there. And we'll go ahead and try to cut our opponent off down below a little bit too. We do not want him to cut us off. Now he is trying to surround us already. And I need to drop my points down more. I would need to do a better job on watching my points on how much I'm using in an attack. Because he is spending so many points on attack, I'm going to go ahead and start pushing into him. Take over some of these remaining bots down here. Push into him a bit further there. It does not look that good for us. But I think we may be able to recover. I am trying to attack him when he's attacking others. So that I can take advantage of his lack of troops, but he is definitely taking a good lead here. One thing I am doing though, is by keeping his points a little bit on the lower side, he's probably gonna win this one. Ah, uh, leave me alone, bot. I was actually hoping that the bigger bots would go and attack him, um, but I'm gonna say that there is no recovery from this point here. I'm gonna give him a good handshake there. I definitely did not spread quick enough here in the beginning there. Um, I could have been a little bit more efficient with my growth as well as I probably should have started attacking bots earlier and I should have been paying closer attention to my attack bar to make sure that I am not spending too many points. I want to make a disclaimer that I am not the best player in the game. I definitely have a lot to learn. I'm not able to just pick it all up immediately. It's definitely a learning process for me. And so that's part of the whole series that we're doing here is learning to become a better player and trying to work our way up the ranks. And I hope that these videos inspire you to try out new strategies as well as become a better player. And we're off. And we're going up against somebody with 19 points. So he did choose a pretty good spot there. I might choose right here actually. Get really nice and close to him there. I would have preferred to go further away from him, but there was no good uh, 
area to go to. So I'm just doing what I can. And what I'm doing here is I'm expanding at the halfway point of the tick mark so that when I reach full expansion on that attack, that, uh, that when we hit the 10th tick, you get your income. So hopefully that will bring us to maximum points. I totally missed that last tick there, trying to explain it. I'm reinforcing my last attack here so that I can get all of the open space I can. I even triple reinforced it, which is not really the best of ideas, but I wanted to make sure that we get all of the land that we possibly can. I'm coming down to about 10%, and I'm waiting until we hit the 52nd mark to attack anyone. And, look, and we're, remember, we're trying to aim for about 4,000 points on an attack or so. And so I'm at about 5,000. I push to the 58 second mark. And I want to keep my points lower, so I'm dropping them using my hotkeys to make sure that I do not go outside of a decent sized attack. I don't want to be spending too many points. Our opponent is spreading quite quickly, uh, but we have a lot of points built up right now. And honestly, since we're already pushing triple or even five times, I'm going to go ahead and kind of push some attacks in on him. Bump up my attack a lot, give him a good attack here, and another attack, and another attack. And I'm just going to keep on pushing in here. His name disappeared, so I can't see how many points he has. And he all inned me. I scared him. He tried to rush himself out. And he sees that he lost the game. So that was definitely more of an aggressive approach than what I would normally take. I would have given him a handshake, but he already left. That did push us up to 99 points, almost breaking the 100 there. So we did a little bit better. Um, the more that I practice this, the more I know I'll get better at it. And I uh, hope the same for you guys, too. But let's go ahead and jump on in, play another game, and see if we can continue to refine the process and get better at it. So here is probably going to be the very best spot here. We're going up against somebody with half the points that we have. This is definitely where I would want to go. But I want to see if they set down their piece first. They're probably going to wait till the last second, and hopefully we're not right next to each other. And we are not. I did not see them place down their piece at all. Uh, so we'll just continue with our normal expansion rate, expanding about the halfway tick so that we can finish expanding by the time we hit the 10th tick to get the most income that we possibly can. I'll basically be doing this every cycle until things start to close off. And once they start to close off, I'm going to reinforce my attack so that I can grow out as much as possible. This might be that time. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. And I'm watching closely my attack bar up here for how many pixels or how many points I mean. Uh, remain in the attack so that I can be better sure if I need to be reinforcing an attack or not. I am waiting for the 50 second mark before I attack any bots. I'm sitting at about 4,000 points right now per attack, which is great. I got my fingers on my S key so that I can drop my attack lower if I need to. We're at the 58 second mark, which we should be pushing about six or seven, 8,000 points per attack. So we're already at a pretty good position there. And now we're coming on the one minute, 10 second cycle of the game. So we want to make sure that our attacks are remaining under 10,000 points. And I can attack virtually as many bots as I feel I need to right now. Me personally, I would want to make sure that I'm not attacking more than three, maybe four bots at a time. But that's just my opinion. Oh my goodness, look at this gigantic bot here. So much land. So little points. I'm going to drop my points down more to make sure that while I'm taking up little bots, it looks like they went up there. That is our opponent there. So I'm going to let my points travel up a little bit higher in points as many of the bots are now starting to hit five digit numbers of points. And 704 is a prime attack right now. I'm going to go ahead and push in there a little bit more. That was a lot of points for th uh, 357. I probably should not have made that attack. But what I'm trying to do is make sure that he cannot get to the mainland. I want to make sure he has a real hard time getting over here. My points are a little bit on the high end right now, but not too bad. I'm letting him use his points on this bot here. And now he starts to attack me. 
but he has about one sixth of the points I do. So I'm going to finish taking up this bot here, but then I'm going to go ahead and boost my attack up to about 10% and start pushing on in on him. I'll even go up even higher since he is significantly weaker now. I will throw him a handshake hopefully before he leaves, which he did surrender. He did not leave. So hopefully he sees the handshake. And that puts us up at 101 points. This is my first time reaching above 100 points in the 1v1 game. And so that is super awesome. But it also means that I will have harder challenges to overcome to be able to maintain my score. So it definitely gets a bit more difficult from this point on. But that's okay. That's part of the game right there. See if we can continue to do better and better with each passing game. Of course, if you have any questions about maybe you're unsure of what you should be doing differently, or maybe you have suggestions on how I could be improving, please let me know in the comments down below. I read every single message that I see. Uh, so this is kind of the spot. I would say we're going up against somebody with 92 points. Kai's. And this is where I want to go anyway, so hopefully they don't go right next to us. They chose a spot with a whole lot more open space, which is not necessarily a bad idea. And I'm continuing to grow at my normal growth rate, halfway up the tick bar. Try my best to do so. You'll notice in my first couple cycles, I am not... I, I, I am finishing growing b well before I hit the 10th cycle. That is something that I could potentially refine and try to perform better, is waiting until the very last second to grow to hopefully uh, finish growing by the time you hit your 10th tick for your income. I did reinforce that attack there to make sure I would get every inch of pixel that I possibly could. And now we're going down to about 10%, keeping an eye on our points as we hit the 50 second mark where we should be attacking uh, with below uh, 6,000 points basically. I'm waiting a little bit longer because I think I have the ability to do this. I'm going to be a bit more aggressive with my attacks. Try to keep them under 10,000 points. Our opponent is expanding quickly and coming right at us, which is just fine by me. He probably realizes that he needs to make it up to the north there if he's going to have any chance of getting to massive land growth. This Poland bot here is definitely huge and juicy. And I'm trying to keep my points below 10,000 still, maybe a little bit above 10,000. That was a bad bot to attack that I just did there, but I let it, let it ride. And he's sitting at about the same points that we are right now, uh, but not a whole lot more land. Still try to eat up bots so that we can get a bigger growth going on here. Bot 120 has a lot of land with not a lot of points there. Keeping my points low in my attack. He's attacking me again, but I have a lot more points than he does. And he is starting to get cut off. I'm going to go ahead and give him a big attack here. And then drop back down. We're sitting at about double his points right now, so I'm going to go ahead and push in on him. Hopefully eat up enough of his land that even though he's eating some big bots right now, because I have so many more points above him and my interest rate is nice and high, I am able to overcome him more quickly than he is able to eat land of other bots. Which is honestly kind of a nice feeling because this has happened. I've been in Kaiser's position several times now. And so now that I'm in the position, getting up to a decent size, holding my points down correctly, and being able to realize that now is a good time to attack. Because see, I may have not attacked him, I may have worked more on bots at that point normally. And if I did that, then he would have continued to grow bigger and eventually, potentially, gotten more points than I did and became a bigger threat. So, so when I saw that I was about double his points or a little bit more than double of his points, that's when I started to push in a little bit. And as he attacked me back, you could see that he lost huge chunks of points there, which just gave me all the more ability to go ahead and push on into him. So it was kind of a losing situation for him at a certain point where... If I didn't attack him, then he may have won. But because I did, he pretty much had no chance to recover. So 
keep that in mind there and that's going to put us at 104.6 points we are moving up into the triple digit and then decimal of course <laughs> uh point system there so that is really awesome i definitely want to give a large shout out to green biscuit for the 8,000th time uh, without his generosity of sharing his information, I may not be in this position where I'm starting to see better growth and better results in my gaming. And uh, I really would like to say that you guys should all give him a little bit of love. He does have a YouTube channel. I'll put his link in the description below. Go over there, give him a, a subscription, like some of his videos, see what his tactics are. Um, definitely go check him out. But that's going to do it for this video here. We had three good games there. Definitely really good growth in our ability to do well in the game. And I really hope that you guys learned something from this video as well. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you have suggestions for how I could do better, let me know in the comments down below. If you have questions about how you could do better, let me know in the comments down below. I read every single comment that I receive, so don't be shy and leave me a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the near daily content that I have coming out. I try my best to get videos out every single day. But that'll be enough of that. I hope that you guys have a great day. I thank you so much for being with me. And until the next video, toodaloo.